All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, May the 3rd. That's right, folks. Getting ready for another great month here at the Wine Watch. A lot of great tastings coming up. And what have we got to sell you today? Another Barolo offering. That's right. Did, didn't we just do a Barolo offering? Wasn't that the last thing we set out? Yes, but folks, we have got another incredible deal for you. And we've got four vintages, actually five vintages. We still have some 03 left of the Fantino Darty, Vigna de Darty Barolo. And as you, most of you that have been watching this show know, Barolo is one of my favorite things of the world. And to be able to offer you vintage wines from a great producer at about half of the price of their current release, to me, I just get all giddy like a school child, man. Let me tell you, the uh, we tasted through all these wines yesterday at our happy hour here Friday. And uh, let me tell you, each and every wine, I think it's got its own redeeming qualities. We had different uh, uh, favorites among the group, which is a sign that we had four very nice wines open, starting with the 1995 vintage. This is not considered one of the great vintages in the Piedmont. You know, the string of great vintages started in 1996 and went through 2001. So kind of easier to remember the off vintages. 2002 was the last off vintage in the Piedmont, 2003. Uh, some people made really good wines. But uh, 1995, to me, is a very good classic vintage, one that is starting to drink really nicely right now. This wine showed some lovely fresh earth and herbal notes on the nose with a hint of that black tar and black spices. And, uh, you know, there's dried kind of rose petal notes that you get from older Barolos really coming into its own, that tart cherry fruit still on the palate, really nice. Uh, a bit lighter than the other three Barolos, but, you know, that's what I like about vintage Barolo, man. When all these pieces come together, the fruit, the tan, the acidity, and you have wonderful balance. And uh, this wine had it. And uh, still some good length on the finish there. And for $25, are you kidding me? You can't get Lange Nebbiolo for $25 from most great producers. Uh, current release, that is. Okay, more or less a wine that's 15 years old. Okay, all right, next up, the 96, which 96 is a classic vintage in Barolo. And, you know, the 96 here really showed the most length, the most legs. And I think uh, this wine you could still hold on to. But uh, similar nose there, lovely sweet cherry liqueur, though. Dried rose petals, black tar, spices, classic old world Barolo. You know, the Fantino brothers, Sandro, worked at uh, um, Bartolo Mascarello, one of the old guards. Hey, is that who we just sent out yesterday? All right, well, uh, you know, their wines are triple the price of these wines. And uh, like I said, you've got someone that tenured there uh, making the wines here at this house. And uh, the 96, to me, very balanced, really drinking nice, close to its peak, but still, as I mentioned before, has some legs left. All right, the 97, you know, this is a vintage that was very warm. And uh, if you look at the press on these wines, this was the lowest scoring wine, according to the wine advocate. I think that was Daniel Tomas's, though. He didn't get real excited about 07 because it was such a non-typical year. So warm, so forward. And this wine has got some lovely liqueur-like fruit to it. Definitely had the most sweetness on the palate. Some lovely spice on the nose and a really good concentration. I was surprised. You know, this wine showed better to most of the group than the 96. I think, you know, if you really love classic Barolo, you probably like the 96 over the 97. But... I don't think you'd be disappointed with either one of these wines. These are my two picks for the wines of the of the day yesterday, the 96 and 97 vintage. 98, which got a 91-point review, got one of the higher scores to me. 98's kind of a cross between 96 uh, or 97 and 99. You know, it has more forward fruit. It's a bit lighter in style, uh, but, you know, still not quite as light as the 97 or this 97 wasn't light. Let me tell you, the 98 was the lightest of the four wines we had, but still a very pretty Barolo, really soft tannins, really showing beautifully at or near its peak right now. $25? Are you kidding me? Hey, we still have some of the 2003 left. Check it out, all the wines from our friends uh, at Fantino. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.